What's up YouTube? Tonight's video we are going to be doing a money guide for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. So I've got a couple of strategies how to get money in this game. Uh, the one that I've got that I'm going to show you first is probably the best one. So just showing you how much I've got at the moment. I've got two... I, my currency is dollars but uh, we've got two at the moment so I sold everything and uh, we're going to do this video in real time. I could speed it up but I actually want to show you how quickly I do it in real time too. So we're going to have two Persians in this team. Now, we're going to go through the Elite Four. Um, what we want to do is we want to have a look at this Persian set. So, obviously, you get the biggest amount of money from the Elite Four. However, Persian can actually learn Payday. So, Payday is actually a pretty decent move to get money. Uh, but more on that in a second. So, pretty much, I've got uh, both... Uh, I'm going to have both players. Uh, well, I need both controllers for my Switch because we want two players, right? We want to use two Pokemon at the same time. We want to do this as quickly as possible and we want to make as much money uh, as possible as well. Okay, so we're going to go through the entire Elite Four and I'm going to show you guys how much money I make from uh, each battle and also going to talk about some other uh, ways of making money in this game too. Okay, so first of all, we got my Persian out there. I'm also going to explain the Persian build that I've got. Um, I'm going to wiggle my second remote and we're going to bring in the second Persian. Now, you can have more than, uh, you know, you can have more than two uh, Persians if you want. Uh, this is just how many I've got at the moment. So these ones, uh, you know, they both have payday. Um, I've maximized the payday uh, PP max as well because you want as many as possible. You can use ethers and other things too. Okay, so pretty much uh, you use payday on both the, of the Persians. Now, Payday is actually pretty interesting. Um, I did some uh, calculations on the Payday. So pretty much every time you use Payday, you get $500. Well, you pick up $500 for winning the battle. So basically right there, before we even get the Elite Four, you know, Lorelei's money, we've already made $1,000 right there, right? So that's pretty good. Uh, so uh, Pokemon like Pokemon like Jinx, one of, this is, I just went through this really quickly. Um, Jinx obviously is going to go down to a payday. It's a very squishy Pokemon. Um, the EVs I've got, I'm oh, sorry, the IVs I've got on this max in attack, and the AVs are 200. So I put everything in attack and everything in speed. Uh, I didn't really worry about the rest, so it's pretty much just attack and speed on Persian. We want to go fast, and we want to, you know, have as maximized attack as possible. So more bulkier Pokemon, even ganging up on the Elite Four, uh, you know, the Pokemon can, you know, still definitely live uh, like this closer. So that's good. It doesn't even matter if you don't, t if you if you don't take them out in uh, two, like two hits, it's fine because every land, every time you hit against them, right, uh, you can, you know, you earn an extra like 500, which is pretty good. Now you can actually. You could actually have like an entire team of payday Pokemon, uh, as long as they do some decent damage. Uh, there are some other Pokemon that come up in each battle. I kind of want to explain the strategy, but in this one, uh, you can use this payday against all the Pokemon. You don't have to worry. Cloister is a, like a three hit case. So quite close to right there. That made us one thousand five hundred dollars. Uh, the Jinx only made us five hundred dollars because we one shot it. I mean, you don't have to put max into the attack if you don't want to so obviously the more times you use payday you know the more money you're going to make well, every payday so if you look at it say it's got say the move has uh like say the payday's got i think it's got like let me bring up it's uh pp again so it's also slow slow bro is another bulky pokemon too but if you basically times the amount of uh, pp the move has got by 500 that's how much you can make out of it right uh and if you've got a way to uh you know replenish your pp like a, a ether or something like that uh, or like another and like another Pokemon just to take its spot. Uh, you can pretty much get lots. So it's got it's got 32. So basically 32 uh, times 500 is the amount you can get from that, which is pretty good. And uh, you know you've got that you've got two Persians using it at once, so it's like times two. So it's pretty nice. Um, these Persians can possibly run out of PP even going through the entire Leaf Four, unless you you know, have some other ones in the back you can use as well. I did this really quickly and. Uh, I'm just going to show you, you know, sort of like my strategy. You can build on this strategy if you want to. It's, it's a nice little base uh, if you want to add other Pokemon to the team with Payday. Uh, if you want to use like a uh, Pokemon that don't really hit as hard, so you want to get like maximized. You could like, you could build like a more of like a, a bulky kind of set uh, that didn't hit very hard and uh, you could use Payday to the max. Uh, this is a good Pokemon to use it on too. It's not very effective, so you get a lot off it. Say if I didn't have max and attack, this would be doing nothing to me. As long as you've got a high enough level, the attacks really don't do too much to, to Persian or Persian at all. So you could definitely put lots in health. That would that would be a good strategy too. Um, I'm sort of going for speed here, right? So we're going to go as fast as through as possible, right? So I thought I, I thought I could run like less in uh, less in attack, right? Uh, but comparison to me going through the Elite Four in 20 minutes and uh, making a hundred thousand, uh, you know, a hundred thousand. 
Uh, that, yeah, that, that's pretty good. So you already, get, you already make your base amount from Elite Four. This is just like a little extra. And you're already attacking anyway, so you're not wait. It's not like you're wasting any time or anything like that. <clears throat> Sorry. I had like a, I had like a frog in my throat. Um, so pretty much you're not wasting, really wasting much time at all. You're still essentially attacking and uh, getting some extra uh, from it. Okay, so that's all right. So you get 7,500 then. So that was pretty good. Uh, that was, we got 12, we got the normal 12,000. And then we got 7,500 on top of that. So... That's really good, and if you times it by the amount of uh, Lingo Elite Four uh, members it is, it's definitely a very profitable uh, kind of method. Now, I do have a couple of other methods, but we'll get to that a little bit la later on in the video. Let's go over Bruno, because Bruno is quite an important Pokemon uh, uh, Pokemon to go up against. Now, a lot of his, like, especially Onix. Onix is a good Pokemon because it's got a very high defense, and Payday is very weak against it, so you can get, like, a lot of hits off it, which is pretty nice. You guys probably get the, sort of, like, the gist of what I'm doing now, um, but I just kind of want, I wanted to show this, I, I really wanted to, like, show this one in real time, uh, just to show the actual length of the video, uh, not just, like, sped up and stuff, kind of like that. I wanted to say that, you know, 100,000 in tw like 20 minutes. That That's sort of like... And then we could, like, do some calculate, like some really cool calculations from there. So, like, if you essentially kept doing it right, you could do, like, three Elite Fours within the hour if you were, like, really speed running it like me. So that's essentially 300K in one hour. I've, and that that's... And I'll, I'll show you. Like, that's that's how much it makes. Okay, so pretty much... So that's, that's 300K in, in one hour. So that, that's pretty damn good. Give or take, like, around an hour. Okay, anyway, uh, let's keep going. So, uh, with the Onyx, we got some more paydays. Now, um, as we go through this battle, I'll, ex I'll want to explain some other things. So, we got stuff, um, as you guys know already, if you played this game a bit, you chain Pokemon, right? And as you chain them, you get items and things like that. And candies and things like that. So, you eventually get a lot of different candies, right? So, you can definitely sell some of it. I know you use them, but there are... They get to a point where there, there's a lot of redundant candy that you won't use. You can sell that. The only problem about I find about that is it doesn't sell for very much. You need a lot of them to sell. And uh, this is definitely more... Like, this is... Th that's sort of, like, way superior than this for, this for time. So, you know, 20 minutes... Say if you were catching Pokemon for 20 minutes, right... Uh, compared to this, so you, you like you did the, this elite four uh, strategy thing for 20 minutes compared to like catching Pokemon. This one makes like a lot more money compared to the other one. So that one definitely is uh, you know nowhere near as good as this. But it's another method if you don't want to do this or you don't have the Pokemon. Um, you can do this with other, like basically any payday Pokemon will work. Um, now also you get uh, you get payday if you want to know where to get that one. You get that right outside of Mount Moon. Now, when I mean outside of Mount Moon, I mean as you're going into it, right? There's a guy there. Um, it, I think it's in a, like a, a maroon or blue uh, shirt or jumper or whatever. You talk to them, they just give it to you. That's how you get payday. Um, it's just basically just down from the Pokemon Center before you enter Mount Moon, you know? Pretty, uh, pretty basic. Now, also, uh, Alola Golem is quite a good one, too. Uh, it does use Super Power, which is nice because it eventually you start off, you know, hitting it, uh, you know, for weak attacks. And then you can get, like, quite a lot of this Golem. It's uh, really, really worth it. Now, there is one problem you're probably thinking, oh, there's a uh, there's Agatha coming up. And uh, I will explain that one, too. It's it's kind of unfortunate. This is, uh, there's no, like, items or, you know, like, Foresight and... Uh, you know, like, uh, no guard thing, lots of, like, abilities, like, or, like, rick, trick ring target, like, there'd be nice to have things like that, but, uh, since we're running, like, obviously the gen, pretty much gen 1 battle mechanics, this is the best you can do, uh, in my opinion. Okay, um, Persian's bulky enough at level 102 to, you know, to tank all the hits, and pretty much you don't even need to heal up at all if you've got two Pokemon attacking at once. Um, all you gotta do, uh, to bring your, the trainer in is just shake the, you know, shake the emote and that, shake the emote, shake the remote to bring the second trainer in. Uh, you can even if you forget to do it and like before you verse the trainer you can just shake it during the battle and that'll pop in Okay, so but that's pretty much it. So that was the so pretty much we had the candies from the Pokemon We and uh, now we got we got the elite four uh, method that I'm doing with payday Okay, but there's more now as I was playing uh, Speaking of Mount Moon, right uh, after I got payday I went into Mount Moon, right and uh, you if I'm not sure if you noticed this But uh, I'm sure you did there's a guy in there who gives you Pokeballs, right, when you, you run out. So I was like, okay, this could be profitable. Like, let's see if we can exploit this. So pretty much I sold all the Pokeballs that I had, right? I, I, I sold the Pokeballs that he gave me. Um, and it gave, he gives me, it gives me, ten, you get 10 off the Pokeball guy, right? So you can sell them and you get like, I think you get like $500 or something. You get like half the price. So that's $500 right there. And uh, then you can you can run back to him, and then you get another ten, and then you can keep selling eggs. So you can keep getting five hundred dollars over and over and over and over and over again, so infinitely. So that's another way of getting some money if you don't want to do Elite Four. 
once again, uh, when we look at time, the Elite Four is, uh, you know, it's definitely better. Um, that one's a good dun if you don't have any, say if you don't have any good Pokemon on your team, or you don't like battling or something like that, that is another good one. You can pretty much run between there within a couple of minutes or so. So, like, you'd have to go to the front of Mount Moon. The only... The only slow bit about that is you've got to go to Pewter City, right? And you've got to run to the right all the way up to, you know, all the way into the cave and dodge all the dodge all the encounters and then go to the guy, grab your Pokeballs and then use a Pokemon. Like, you could use like a, uh, like a, t a teleporting Pokemon or a skate rope or whatever like that and uh, go back there and then sell, sell off your Pokeballs and then go all the way back. It's very, very tedious, but that's the other way that I came up with. Okay, so against Agatha, um, there are a couple of Pokemon you can't uh, use Payday against, aka her Ghost type. So I had Bite on both my Persians for that. They pretty much got through anything and you know allowed you uh, to go through things speedily as well. You, I mean, you still get money from beating Agatha, so it's fine. And there's only a couple of Ghost Pokemon when you look at the entire Elite Four, so there's not actually that many. And Agatha actually already has a couple of other Pokemon like Weezing and Golbat you can use against. So Weezing is fairly bulky in defense too, so you can actually use Payday against that a couple of times. That, that was two. Um, that was two Persians with Max, so that took both of them. So a definite like. You, that's a definite three right there. So that wheezing right there was worth, uh, you know, 1,500, which is pretty good. Uh, that kind of makes up a little bit for those, uh, you know, all the ghosts on team. So both the Gengars and uh, Lolan, uh, Lolan Marowak. So that's that's about the only thing. Now, I had Slash on it as well. Uh, Slash was just there in case you ran out of, uh, like, PP or anything like that, or you just needed to take a Pokemon out. Now, I had Fake out on there as well. Say if one of them ran out of... Uh, uh, ran out of paydays and you just wanted to get some damage on there a little bit of damage uh, You could just go for fake out and flinch the opponent so they wouldn't do anything annoying uh, You could definitely uh, shuffle up this moveset. Uh, you know, how do you like it all a Pokemon? But I just found Persian was quite a good Pokemon. It was fast and it, you know, it, it, its attack was okay as well And uh, you know had okay bulk too. Uh, just Just with the uh, you know with the AVs and stuff in this gen. Also guys I've got the fun to say if there's any other guys you'd like me to do Please let me know in the comment section of this video um, as I said once, I did really want to speed this up, but at the same time, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to show you guys in, like, just real time how long it would take. Okay, so we got the Golbat as well. This is the, this is the third Elite Four. So at the moment, we're about, we're, we're, we're only 12, this is only 12 minutes, and we've beaten, you know, three, we've beaten three already, and we've, we've earned quite a lot of money already. But we're not going to look how many, how much we get until the end, right? We're not going to have a look at how much we got to the end. Now, uh, we're going to take the gold bat up. Now, also in this uh, run, I, I actually did run out of paydays, but it was at the very end. So I could have easily used an elixir there, or I could I could have easily had another Persian too. So um, bear that one in mind too. So pretty much I'm spamming my A button at the moment to, you know, to get this one done in 20 minutes. I'm not, I'm not taking like a long time. I'm not healing any Pokemon up. You don't want to be healing any Pokemon up. You don't want to be doing any extra crap because that sort of takes up time and, uh, you know, in this case, time is money. Okay, so we're versing uh, Lance now. So we're already up to Lance, and we're only 13 minutes into you know, into this run. So we're going really, really good. Uh, pretty much, it, once you, yeah, you've got these powerful Persians, and they're making you lots of money, pretty much. Okay, uh, so Seedra, Lance's first Pokemon. Seedra's fairly bulky, so that's going to take uh, you know two paydays to take it out. Essentially, when you look at it, you kind of want to be making, on average, $500 a Pokemon. Um, some Pokemon you can make a thousand dollars from too, like extra, which is pretty nice. Man, I, I really, just a side note though, uh, aesthetics, I really, really like the, um, you know, the backgrounds for the Elite Four members. They look, uh, look absolutely awesome. Okay, so Cedra's gonna go down to two hits. Now, you do get some nice little gems like Onyx and, uh, yeah, the Alolan, um, Alolan Sandslash. They're really nice. Sometimes you can make, like, a couple thousand from them. Aerodactyl's another one. Aerodactyl's defenses are a little bit frail though, so if you're running, like, a max... Uh, Max uh, uh, Persian, uh, you'll probably find uh, you'll probably do a little bit more damage than you wanted to. So, like I said, you can definitely adjust it uh, with the Persian's attack. Say if you don't want Payday to do much, you, you might be. You could. I was also thinking you could actually use Payday, right? But then, um, uh, if, so, I don't know. Say if you use, you could use Payday all the Paydays up on one Persian, like just make it a really tanky set. You could go like Max. You could max the health uh, on it. You could max the special defense and the defense. And you could you could do it that way and have six of them like that could even make more. But then like I was I was trying to figure out like the it's sort of like the time invested in doing that versus like just spamming through the elite four in twenty minutes. That was that was sort of the thing. And you got to take into account like you know the little cut scenes and things like that uh, kind of thing. But yeah, um, if you have any other ways to make money, 
on uh, Pokemon uh, Let's Go, let me know. But I'm pretty sure this is, I'm pretty dang sure this is the fastest way to make money. And uh, I've definitely tried like a whole bunch of things. So when you look at it, uh, the Elite Four is definitely like compared to the other two, like the Selling Candy one is uh, definitely the slowest. Uh, the second one is the Pokeball guy. Uh, that's that's all right, but it's very tedious, and you got to do like a lot of running in between. And you know you might get sick of like selling Pokeballs off and stuff like that too. Now also there is a fourth one, but uh, there is like a random uh, in Cerulean Cave. There's like in the room in a room in there. Um, you know, where, where you verse Mewtwo and stuff, where you get the little chances and things like that. I actually did a chancy experience guide, so uh, if you want to know how to get like level up fast in Pokemon, that one's in on my channel too. Um, but if you are in that room, you can actually pick up items. Now, that is another way, like, why you're, say, you're training a Pokemon, you could just pick up those items, and if any items you didn't want, you could sell them off for extra money too. Uh, that's another way. Once again, it's, 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 it's random, it's too slow, it sort of falls in the category. Like, you could, you could, it kind of it stacks nicely with the candy, like selling off the candy or the items from the Pokemon. So I'd say essentially that would be when you combine both of them, it would be faster than the Pokeball guy. But uh, when you compare it to the Elite Four, it's still not as fast. Okay, so uh, that's the that's Lance beat. No, no, Lance has got one more Pokemon. Oh, also, if, if you do re rematch the Elite Four, they actually have Mega Pokemon. So Lance actually has a uh, you know a Charizard X, which is uh, interesting. Uh, so they're a little bit harder. Um, which, which is pretty cool. Man, that, uh, that Mega Evolution, even though I'm not a fan of Mega Evolutions, it, uh, you know, it does look very, very clean. Okay, so we're gonna go for more Paydays. Uh, just, just pretty much just keep an eye on your Payday, because every time you're not using Payday against, uh, one of these Pokemon, you're pretty much, you're losing, a th uh, like, $500 right there. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now we're up to the Rival. Pretty much the slowest, uh, part of this is the end after you beat your Rival. Like, you've got pressure out that comes in. He doesn't go on for too much long. Uh, but then you've got, like, the Hall of Fame bits. So that's probably, like, the slowest part in this entire thing. But it's pretty funny, uh, you know, how quickly you can do it if you just pretty much spam. Have two controls and spam them. Um, i definitely uh, say that. All right, we got the last rival. What do you... Seriously, guys, what do you think of the rival, uh, rival Trace? I don't know. Um, he's sort of like... <laughs> I don't know. Sort of like a discount blue or whatever. I don't know. I'm not sure. What, what do you guys what do you guys think of the rival? Let me know in the uh, you know comment section of it. Anyway, so we're up to 17 minutes now, which is uh, you know very very quick. Uh, we're up to the last one, and we got we've well, got a whole six Pokemon, which is nice. Too. Okay, so we got a, a Pidgeot's lead now. Uh, Trace actually has a, uh, a Mega Pidgeot as well, which is cool. So Lance and Trace both have Megas, which is interesting. Now also uh, another thing to uh, bear in mind as well: these will if you do get these Pokemon on low amounts health. Uh, the trainer will actually heal them up. So, whether that, yeah, that that's a good thing because that means you can keep using payday. But it's kind of a bad thing too if you don't have you know, like enough PP and that kind of thing. So maybe yeah, just make sure. Uh, I, I'd I'd probably have more than two two uh, pay, like pay uh, payday Pokemon. I'd probably have two more like more than two. This is just like a you know sort of like a classic example. Okay, uh, pretty much, but on, on a whole, Payday, two hit KOs, every single, nearly every single Pokemon in the Elite Four if you're running like Max Attack. Um, and it's about, starting some of the more, the bulky ones, are like a three to four hit KO. Okay, uh, anyway, so we can see uh, we've got the Vile Plume left. And uh, also, I was going to say, uh, with theme, as I've got a little bit of a moment here, I've got some theme teams planned, but uh, I'm not sure when I'll be able to get, the, like, I, I had a couple of people ask me about uh, like theme teams and stuff. Are they going to be solely on uh, Pokemon... Uh, let's go, or you're gonna, you know, what are you gonna do there, uh, Pip Knight? I'm like, basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go between Let's Go and I'm gonna go between Ultra Sun and Moon, basically because I can't use any items on Let's Go. There's no abilities, and I'm kind of locked into only using 150 Pokemon, uh, 150 add the Melton and Melmetal uh, Pokemon. So I don't really like that. I mean, it's this is cool, but I want to sort of like go in between games. So I might do one on Let's Go, then one on Ultra Sun and Moon. I pretty much just like, you know. Go back and forth between them until we get Generation Eight, right? And uh, yeah, that, that's uh, when we finally get Gen Eight, people. I'm so, so, so looking forward to that. Um, also, we are getting. A, I'll be getting in like a new layout on my video soon, like some new layout. I w it was kind of. We were contemplating it, but I thought, nah, it's only going to be around. You know, this gen and stuff will only be around for like another. You know, was it 11, 11 months nearly, or twelve months, or a little bit less than twelve months now. So uh, that'll be it. Okay, we got two Pokemon left. We got a Rapidash. Rapidash. Uh, this Rapidash is, uh, you know, is bulky enough to live one, and uh, that's in the last. Uh, I'm actually getting low on paydays. I was actually uh, conserving them. You can conserve your paydays too. Uh, that's why I put other moves on this Persian set. So say you know a Pokemon like Jinx, right? You know you can one-shot that Jinx. 
Um, if you, this is if you're running on more of like a, an offensive one, you can just choose like a move like Fake Out or or like something like Fake Out. The reason I put Fake Out on there because it fails um, if it isn't used on the very first turn. So I thought that's a nice sort of like dummy move in case you uh, had that. You know, on your uh, in case your Persian was going to one shot, then the other Persian just fails using a fake out. I thought that'd be good for speed reasons. And if if you're running like more of a slower kind of build, like lots and lots of paydays, just continually over and over, that's another thing too. But uh, yeah, um, I definitely definitely make sh make use of this payday. I think it's uh, something we can abuse to get money in this game. It's very very difficult, and you're very very reliant on money too in this game. Like really 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 reliant. Like ultra balls, lures, like this this. This stuff costs lots if you want to do like some shiny hunting and just catching a lot of... Like, catching Pokemon costs a lot of money, too. Okay, so this slow bro, I pretty much used up all my uh, PP here. Now, I did have Elixir. Please bear in mind, I did have Elixir at this point. Uh, so, I could have used Payday another two times. That's another thousand or so like that. I, I just went for Slash to finish off the slow bro. So, I was doing this really quickly. Just, uh, just bear that one in mind there. So, I would have gone Payday then Slash, pretty much. Okay. Because uh, I didn't want them spamming potions over and over and over again. Uh, just due to the amount of PP they had left. Okay, uh, so that's our rival beaten. And that's it. We've done it in 20... About 21 minutes around there. Very, very... Pretty much we did it... We almost did it in 20... Like, if you if you add all the cutscenes in, it's like 20... Maybe like 22 minutes. But uh, you know, it's, it's approximately 20 minutes. You might have been able to do it a little bit faster than me. Um, what I did there. I, I tried to do it as fast as possible, right? Okay, I did have that. I did have that potion thingy, uh, so that probably used up like thirty, you know, 20, 30 seconds. So anyway, uh, so we got the uh, champion thingy, and uh, you're just gonna have to. Since you only have two Pokemon, you don't have like much popping up at the end either. So it's you know, it's pre it's pretty quickly, uh, quickly done. Okay, but uh, that's pretty much it, Bill, and it's it's actually time to see how much money we made in approximately 20 minutes. Now, bear in mind, I did actually, I could have actually made another, possibly another thousand to two thousand if I use an elixir at the end. We pretty much made a hundred thousand dollars in 21, 22 minutes, something around that. But there you go, people. That's the fastest method of money that I know. You could essentially make around three hundred thousand in an hour if you really went for it and uh, sort of like changed uh, like strategy very uh, like you know kind of like mine i hope you guys enjoyed this video kind of sorry that it was long but i wanted to show you the exact amount of time it took and i also got to talk to you guys a little bit and explain some more strategies and things about this game all right if this helped you please let me know in the comment section i love to hear uh the feedback if this did help you leave a like on the video too all the support helps and i'll catch you guys tomorrow peace